the Gurjara Pratihara dynasty stands out as a pivotal power in the history of medieval India. Emerging as a formidable force, they played a crucial role in shaping the subcontinent's destiny during a time of great upheaval and transformation. Ruling from the 8th to the 11th century CE, they held sway over a vast territory. Their dominion stretched across a significant portion of northern India, showcasing their military prowess and administrative capabilities. Their realm encompassed much of northern India including present-day Rajasthan, Gujarat, and parts of Uttar Pradesh. This extensive control allowed them to influence the region's political, economic, and cultural landscapes profoundly. The Gurjara Pratiharas are best known for their valiant defense of India. They stood as a formidable barrier against the waves of foreign invasions that threatened the stability and integrity of the Indian subcontinent. They acted as a bulwark against foreign invasions from the northwest. Their military strategies and fortifications were instrumental in repelling these incursions, ensuring the safety and continuity of Indian civilization during turbulent times. This dynasty played a significant role in shaping the political and cultural landscape of the Indian subcontinent. Their governance brought about a period of relative stability, which was crucial for the development of various aspects of society. Their reign marked an era of relative peace and prosperity, allowing for the flourishing of art, architecture, and trade. Temples, sculptures, and other architectural marvels from this period stand as a testament to their patronage of the arts. However, by the 10th century CE, the Gurjara Pratihara Empire began to decline. The once mighty empire faced numerous challenges that gradually eroded its power and influence. A confluence of factors contributed to their downfall, including external invasions, internal strife, and economic burdens. These elements combined to weaken the empire making it vulnerable to both internal dissent and external threats. The decline of the Gurjara Pratiharas had profound consequences for the future of India. Their fall created a power vacuum that led to significant shifts in the region's political dynamics. It ushered in a period of political fragmentation and the rise of regional powers. This fragmentation often led to conflicts and competition among emerging states, each vying for dominance. These events ultimately paved the way for the establishment of new dynasties and empires. The shifting power dynamics set the stage for the rise of influential powers, such as the Cholas, the Palas, and later, the Delhi Sultanate. Understanding the rise and fall of the Gurjara Pratiharas offers valuable insights into the dynamics of power, the impact of external forces, and the complexities of cultural change in medieval India. Their story is a microcosm of the broader historical currents that shaped the subcontinent. Their story is one of both resilience and vulnerability, highlighting the challenges faced by empires in navigating a constantly changing world. The legacy of the Gurjara Pratiharas endures, reminding us of the intricate tapestry of history and the enduring impact of past civilizations on our present. The origins of the Gurjara Pratiharas remain shrouded in some mystery. Their early history is a tapestry woven with legends and scant historical records, making it a fascinating subject for historians and enthusiasts alike. It is believed that they were of either Gurjara or Pratihara lineage. This duality in their origins adds to the intrigue, as both lineages have rich and storied pasts that contribute to the identity of the Gurjara Pratiharas. They emerged as a potent force in Western India around the 6th century CE. This period marked the beginning of their rise to power, as they started to assert their influence over the region. Initially, they served as feudatories under the rule of the mighty Guptas. The Guptas were a dominant power in India, and serving under them provided the Gurjara Pratiharas with valuable experience and resources. However, as Gupta power waned, the Gurjara Pratiharas seized the opportunity to establish their own independent kingdom. This transition from vassals to sovereigns was a pivotal moment in their history. Under the leadership of ambitious rulers such as Nagabata I and Batsaraja, the Gurjara Pratiharas embarked on a series of military campaigns. These leaders were not only skilled warriors but also astute strategists who understood the importance of expanding their realm. These conquests expanded their territory and influence. Each victory brought them new lands and resources, further solidifying their power. They challenged the dominance of neighboring kingdoms, including the Palace of Bengal and the Rashtrakutas of the Deccan. These confrontations were not just about territorial gains but also about establishing their supremacy in the region. 
the Gurjara Pratiharas excelled as warriors and strategists, forging a formidable army comprising infantry, cavalry, and elephant units. Their military innovations and tactics were ahead of their time, making them a force to be reckoned with. This military prowess enabled them to secure their borders and repulse invasions. Their ability to defend their territory was crucial in maintaining their sovereignty. They successfully thwarted Arab incursions into India, earning them the title of Guardians of the West. This achievement not only protected their own lands, but also safeguarded the cultural and religious heritage of the region. Through shrewd alliances and strategic marriages, the Gurjara Pratiharas consolidated their power and established a vast empire. These alliances were carefully crafted to strengthen their position and ensure the loyalty of their subjects. It stretched from the Himalayas in the north to the Narmada River in the south, encompassing a diverse and culturally rich landscape, and from present-day Gujarat in the west to Bengal in the east. This vast expanse of territory was a testament to their military and diplomatic prowess, marking the zenith of their imperial glory. The 8th and 9th centuries CE witnessed a period of intense rivalry for control of the fertile and strategically vital Gangetic Plains. This struggle, known as the Tripartite Struggle, involved three major powers, the Gurjara Pratiharas, the Palace of Bengal, and the Rashtrakutas of the Deccan. Each dynasty sought to assert its dominance over this coveted region, engaging in a series of protracted wars and shifting alliances. The Gurjara Pratiharas, under the reign of powerful rulers like Dharmapala and Mihira Bhoja, fought valiantly to maintain their hold over Kanauj. Kanauj held immense symbolic significance, as it was considered the imperial city, and control over it conferred legitimacy and prestige. The palace, led by rulers such as Gopala and Dharmapala, posed a significant challenge from the east, seeking to expand their influence westward. The Rashtrakutas, based in the Deccan, emerged as a formidable force under the leadership of rulers like Dantidurga and Govinda III. They launched ambitious campaigns into northern India, aiming to weaken both the Gurjara Pratiharas and the Pallas. The tripartite struggle raged for over a century, resulting in a constantly shifting balance of power. No single dynasty was able to achieve lasting supremacy. Section 4. The Threat from the North, the Shadow of the Rashtrakuta Empire While the Gurjara Pratiharas were embroiled in conflicts with the palace in the east, a new threat emerged from the south in the form of the powerful Rashtrakuta Empire. The Rashtrakutas, based in the Deccan Plateau, harbored ambitions of expanding their influence northward into the Gangetic Plains. They posed a significant challenge to the Gurjara Pratihara hold on power. Under the reign of dynamic rulers like Danti Durga, Krishna I, and Govinda III, the Rashtrakutas undertook a series of aggressive military campaigns into northern India. They inflicted several defeats upon the Gurjara Pratiharas. These victories demonstrated the growing might of the Rashtrakuta Empire. The Gurjara Pratiharas already engaged in a struggle for supremacy with the palace, found themselves facing a formidable enemy on two fronts. The Rashtrakuta threat forced the Gurjara Pratiharas to divert their resources and attention away from their eastern borders. This weakening of their defenses in the east allowed the palace to make inroads into Gurjara Pratihara territory. The constant pressure exerted by the Rashtrakutas from the south played a significant role in destabilizing the Gurjara Pratihara empire. It prevented them from consolidating their power and expanding their realm further. Beyond their military prowess, the Rashtrakutas were also known for their cultural and architectural contributions. They built magnificent temples and sculptures, which stand as a testament to their artistic achievements. Their patronage of literature and the arts left a lasting legacy in the Indian subcontinent. The Rashtrakutas also established extensive trade routes, enhancing their economic influence across regions. They maintained diplomatic relations with distant lands, showcasing their strategic acumen. The Rashtrakuta Empire's impact was not limited to their era. Their influence can still be felt in various aspects of Indian culture and history today. The legacy of their rivalry with the Gurjara Pratiharas shaped the political landscape of medieval India. Visiting the historical sites of these empires offers a glimpse into a time of great power struggles and cultural flourishing. Museums today house artifacts from both empires preserving their rich histories for future generations to learn from and appreciate. Section 5 Seeds of Discord, 
internal conflicts and the weakening of the empire. Even as the Gurjara Pratiharas grappled with external threats from the palace and the Rashtrakutas, internal conflicts and succession disputes began to plague the empire. These internal divisions significantly weakened the dynasty's unity and undermined its ability to effectively counter external threats. As the empire grew in size and complexity, so too did the ambitions of various branches of the royal family and powerful feudatories. Succession to the throne became a point of contention. Different claimants vied for power. This often led to protracted struggles and civil wars. These internal conflicts drained the empire's resources. They diverted the attention of rulers away from external threats. The frequent changes in leadership and the instability caused by succession disputes weakened the central authority of the Gurjara Pratihara rulers. Feudatories and provincial governors, sensing the decline in central power, began to assert their own autonomy. They became less inclined to provide troops or pay tribute to the central government. This fragmentation of power further eroded the empire's ability to defend itself against external threats.